What's up, collective? Welcome to my channel. This is Clarity Empress here to do another collective energy reading. Um, please remember to like, click, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thumbs it, thumbs it up. You know, comment in the comment section. Let me know if it resonates. Let me just say this: after the last couple readings that I did, I'm not the reader for you. If you want me to tell you yes when the real, the answer should be no. I'm going to give you what spirit gives me. And if spirit says, um, you know, don't head down there. There's a, a point of no return. There's a cliff. And you're going to fall off if you go. I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you, oh, you know, you should go down there and see what it's like. Not unless there's something. If it's a mild caution, I'm always going to say Follow your own intuition, right? You don't have to listen to me, but follow your own intuition. Um, but I'm not the one that's going to coddle you and say, go for something that you shouldn't go for. I just don't think it's healthy to feed into anyone's delusions. I think it's, uh, you know, if you're going to be a good friend, and I'm going to treat you like I treat my friends because you're my family here. You know, if you come to my channel, you like, subscribe, you listen to the reading, you're now my family. Okay? We family now. And the way I would talk to my friends, close friends, and family is um, red flag on the play. Don't go down that way. Period. You know what I mean? Like, you get ready, um, I don't know, foul out, whatever you want to call it. You're not going in the right direction. And I'm going to let you know, I'm not going to coddle you. It just doesn't make any sense to do that. It's not healthy. So if you come to this channel, just know that I'm going to read it just like Spirit gave it to me. I, I There's times when I'm like, Spirit, I don't know if I should say that. And if Spirit said, go ahead and say it, I'm going to say it. Not here to hurt nobody's feelings. I'm not here to, um, you know, definitely not here to um, placate you or make you feel, uh, give you a feel-good feeling even when something is not good. I want to give you the real, just that. I, I have to say this. Oh, my God, the wind. Damn. My God, the wind just, oh, y'all. Anyway, just know that, again, I'm not here to, you know, just say what you want to hear. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what Spirit tells me to say. If it resonates with you, then fine, take it. If it don't resonate with you, don't take it. Don't make it be, don't make something fit. Don't make the round peg fit into a square hole or vice versa. Don't force it. That's not healthy for anybody. All right, Spirit, give me a message for my collective. Give me a general reading. What's happening for my collective? I'm trying to get this camera to stop shaking too. Ace of Wands, somebody pass energy, taking action. Oops, a new beginning. We got the four wands. Somebody's taking action toward a home situation. I don't somebody want to take a chance in a home situation anymore. Hangman energy. Two of pentacles, bottom of the deck. Okay. Wow. All right. So what I feel here, y'all, is that um, somebody in the past energy wants to take a leap of faith in a new direction. Um, they want to take action. They want to uh, initiate something brand new with someone um, to bring stability to a relationship. That's what they want currently. And, and the fool card is here about taking a leap of faith. But they got some stuff that they need to fix first. There's something in the hidden energy that they need to deal with because the hangman is here. 
the two of pentacles are reverses here um in the in the tower this is given like you you can't start something new until you close out something else because if you try to do that before it's ready it's going to fall apart so this is giving energy similar to i don't know somebody who might be might need to get a divorce but didn't get the divorce yet and they see somebody they really are interested in and they want to spark up a relationship with them and they want to take a leap of faith with them because they you know feel like home or they feel like love or whatever it is that they're desiring they feel that person but they still got to end the situation that they're in hey man they still in a situation or you if you're not married you're in a high level relationship you know you know an engagement or 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 a girlfriend boyfriend situation whatever girlfriend girlfriend whatever somebody is in a relationship that they have not fully ended and if they enter into a new relationship first which is what it feels like they're doing all things will fall apart tower here in the coins what I get, though, is that with this particular tower, this is not a shock or anything new. So, which means the old relationship really is over, but it's not official. You know, either the person didn't move out of the house or they didn't file the paperwork for the divorce. Yet. There's something where there's some residual of it not being over, but emotionally maybe even physically it is over right so this might not be somebody fully up full-on cheating but they have to end they have to clean up you know what they got going on before they can start anything else tell me more about this eight of wands six of swords yeah somebody wants to move on to peaceful waters you know that somebody maybe even both parties want to let this go they want to move on but someone there's one person for sure that wants to move on they want to they want to take their heart and go somewhere else tell me more spirit yeah they want a new beginning um they want to start fresh i mean brand new new everything new address new furniture new car new new bank account this person wants to start over brand new yeah their loyalties have changed the higher front so this person wants a traditional um situation with somebody else so Again, this could be a divorce happening, but now someone wants to be engaged or with someone new. Their loyalties, their love, their 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 um, their faithfulness is in something and somebody else. Seven of Wands. So their your person's person take out resonates collective but i feel like your person's person is trying to hold on to the situation seven of wands they're standing their ground they're like i'm not leaving you could leave but i'm not going anywhere so this could be like somebody owns a house six of pentacles right Somebody owns a house, let's just say, uh, spouse-wise. It was in one spouse's name. And the other spouse is like, yeah, well, guess what? I'm not leaving until I get my part of it. So whoever this is, when the divorce happens, they're standing their ground. And they're saying, I'm not, I'm going to get everything I came for. And you're not going to be able to just brush me aside. What's this bottom of the day? King of Wands in reverse again. Oh my God. All right. So listen. Check out my last reading. My last reading of the karmic King of Wands hijacked the reading. He has a whole nother family. This is similar energy in that 
He's about to lose money and resources for whatever transgressions he he pulled. And this queen, I feel like the queen is not showing up because it could be the queen or the empress, but you um, collective is you're not accepting you're not accepting things for face value you're not accepting things as they are like this person can't just give you whatever it's like i feel like it's going to be in writing it's going to be by the courts um it's going to hit them like a tower moment but they're not going to be surprised this King of Wands is not going to be surprised. Their actions have shown that they deserve this. Now, will they fight it? Most likely, yes. Will they win? Probably not. They probably won't have a like, leg to stand on. But you, Collective, have decided to move on and start fresh somewhere else. Take your loyalties, take your upbringing, take your knowledge, your wisdom, your understanding somewhere else. And let this person deal with whatever it is that they didn't deal with to begin with. All right, enough of that. that. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. Yeah, courtship and imprisonment. last couple of readings have been about people receiving their karma. I really, please let me know. If you watch this video, please go in the comment section and tell me where you see karma being dished out right now. Because I know it can't just be me observing all these people I'm observing, um, experiencing karma to a rash degree. Um, innocent people and people making bad choices. And the people I know, all that are experiencing the karma they have, they're all fixed signs of energy, and they're all extremely stubborn. They got all the answers. They're not flexible, mutable, whatever you want to call it. They got all the answers, and they've been warned, and they don't listen. Tell me more about the six uh, swords with the ace of wands. Yeah, Spirit said, all right. You know it's well past time for change. Maybe you are already thinking about it. Maybe you were, because that's that past energy is kind of like, eh, I'm already in my mind. I'm somewhere else already. I just, I've already left. I feel like that's what this is. Somebody who's already leaving. Yeah, and leaving beyond or, or behind a false person. Somebody who was a trickster, uh, dishonest. Yeah. You're leaving the house and moving into a different house. You're changing houses. Tell me more. Yeah, because of a choice that was made. I feel like this King of Wands chose a lover versus a marriage. Or at least they, they appear to have. Tell me more, Spirit. Now they're concerned, as they should be, because now their money is about to be impacted by their choices. Bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah. This person is going to be in a bad way. Mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, they're going to be in bad health. Three to one equal four. Emperor energy. This person... Um, Hmm. This person was very stubborn, hard-headed. Um, they thought they had all the answers, which they really had basically all the lies, all the drama, all the stress. And now, I feel like this person um, moves by the skin of their pants. You know, there's somebody who is like fly-by-night kind of energy. And now, um, if they have any stress level with the way they're living now because you know people in survival mode do tend to live like that but their stress levels are higher 
I feel like this person is about to be impacted by their stress levels. I think they're getting ready to show signs of wear and tear from running around like this. Somebody in my life, uh, I will not say who it is right now, but after they their spouse passed away, who might I say did everything for them and was genuinely a good person. The person that was left was basically a narcissist and they ended up having heart attacks. And to this day, they have heart issues from, um, oh, I felt pressure in my head too. So they have heart issues. They might have brain issues or how it, how the, the, the heart trap, you know, the, the pulmonary system travels through the brain is impacted. But yeah, after the wife died, this person started having heart attacks. Mind you, before a person died, they were ripping and running in the street. I mean, running through all kinds of women. Lack of respect at all. Like, these women didn't care how they hurt her. They didn't care. But she stayed. So she also had a choice. And she chose to stay. Because she felt like she couldn't afford to leave. It's a perplexing situation, but it caused many people to lose her, lose her too soon because the stress of it all was too much. You know, you need to go to the courthouse. If this is you, Collective, it's time to go file those papers. It's time to go make arrangements. It's time to end the, the bondage between the two, the karmic bond. It's time to cut ties. If it's not a marriage, it's time to do a cord cutting ceremony. And release it now. I don't know how to tell you how to do that. You're going to have to look it up on your own. But it's time to, you know, symbolically or uh, physically cut the cord between you and another person who's holding you back from life. Yeah, message. Somebody's getting messages of concern or some new information just came into play. Um, that was a very... Uh, concerning message, something that was like, hmm, I didn't realize X, Y, and Z was happening. Now I know. Tell me more. There are a lot of secrets. The family will represent secret and time. So there was some rapid secrets that came out. About this King of Wands energy. It's time to file the paperwork. It's time to. If there's a, if this is a divorce. This is time to get the alimony. And that child support. Honestly. I will, I will even tell you. like, Go do this. But I think it's time now. I feel like if you had this person. Taking you for granted for some time. And they were reckless with things. Money and whatever. It's time to get some garnishments. To handle what you need to handle. Tell me more. Sudden wealth. Oh, okay. So Spirit said as you move on, uh, there may be, or as you do the planning for moving on, there may be a sudden blessing for a new home. Meaning somebody might come to you and say, oh, wow, I got this fantastic deal. You could take it. Um, or I'm renting this temporarily, but it's yours if you want it. I'll give you first dibs. That's the kind of energy that I'm pulling. Yeah, this person had an expectation that you were going to sit there and wait in your expectation. This person thought that you would just sit there and wait for them to change, to be better, to do better. Yeah, and this person tried to woo you. And maybe at one point you were entertaining it, but I felt like you always felt suspicious of it. If you could see her face uh, looks like, I, I don't know about all of this. 
I'm listening to you, but mm, I don't know. You know, this person's turned away. He's focused on her. And I feel like, I feel like you're like, yeah, I think I want to change. I'm a deck thief. Yeah, your person is a liar. They're a thief. They're a thief of your time. They're a thief of your energy. They're a thief of your love, your hopes, wishes, dreams, and desires to be with them. They are a thief of all of those things in this. This person ain't right, y'all. This person has hijacked my reading twice. This is all about, you know, getting what you deserve, but moving on. Judgment. Yeah, it's time to call judgment on this situation, y'all. It, it ain't time to play around with no more. It says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. If you're not in alignment with somebody, let them go. If you're not in energetic alignment with somebody, let them go. Let them go be where they're aligned. And you be where you are aligned. Tell me more, Spirit. Don't sit and wait for something to change. Patience says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. There's some things coming to you. You got to have to have some patience. But when they show up, it's going to feel like they showed up all of a sudden. It, it, and I know that sounds weird. Like you wait, 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 wait. And then bam. You don't see it happening. You don't recognize it. It's about to happen. And then it just happens. That's the kind of energy I'm picking up for you. Tell me more, Spirit. Relationships. Yeah, this deeply impacts your relationships. It says, I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. You are now aligning yourself with what you need. Asking that this other person move on to what they need. Growth. Yes. It says, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. You're growing leaps and bounds. Mentally, physically, you know, your maturity is growing. Your health. It says, I honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Spirit wants you to focus on you. Pour into your cup. Build yourself up. Focus on your health. Get your exercise. Eat right. Do right. Take your supplements. Whatever it is that you need to do for your health, Spirit wants you to focus on that right now. Because this person is in bad health. Your person is in bad health. The likely outcome is just better for you to focus on your health so you could be all right. Don't be like the person I mentioned that died early due to the, to, to the husband um, poorly managing his life and their lives. Bottom of that guilt. Now this King of Wands is going to hold some guilt because it's not working out. This It's not. I don't know if um, the third party, if you know, situation is feeling solid to them, but it's not working out. It says, I release some. Any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. I mean, I feel like this is what they're saying, but I'm, I don't. I'm not getting that. That's what they're doing. I, I'll be quite honest with you. I, I, this is what spirit is telling me. They they're telling you what you want to hear. Uh uh uh. Damn. All right, y'all. I'm just, mm -mm -mm. give me one more and that's it, spirit. Yeah, somebody all over the place in their mind. This person, spirit, is saying, um, is really full of indecision, really confused, 
not using their intuition, not using their inner guidance. They're actually ruled by their lower selves. This is somebody ruled by their, if it's a man, ruled by their penis. If it's a woman, ruled by her vagina. But this is somebody who, you know, leads with that. You know what I mean? They're attracted to you. They want they want something from you. Take it however it is. If it don't take, don't take it. You know what I mean? But you got some. You got some. I'm about to say you got some explaining to do. But you do have some um, decisions to make. And I feel like a blessing is coming your way, but it's gonna feel slow. And then all of a sudden, bam! Here it is. Your opportunity. What you were waiting for. Is going to show up suddenly. So I feel like the answer is coming. And that's what I got. Spirit said in the reading. If you know, please remember to like, click, share, subscribe to the channel. Check me out on TikTok under the same name, Clarity Empress. But my longer readings, more in-depth readings are here. You can email me if you're interested in a reading and we can set something up. Um, but yeah, take it out, resonate. If it don't, don't take it. Peace.